This really is an important story. Don't dismiss this. If you spent any time outside this weekend, you need to listen up. Yeah, this is peak season for ticks in Minnesota, and there is yet another reason to protect yourselves from their bites. Jeff Ballion tells us about a disease that can stop your heart. In its early stages, you could feel lightheaded or out of breath. And I'm walking up this hill, it should be fine, and something doesn't feel right. When you check your pulse, you may discover your ticker is beating at half or even a fourth of its normal rate. That was enough of a warning to say we need to go to the emergency room. Something was messing with the electrical system of Steve Stoltz's heart, something he came across out in the woods. They were two days from seriously putting in a uh, pacemaker at that point. The same organism attacked the heart of another Minnesota man last year. Nothing quite added up, and so while they were trying to work out what, what was going on with him, unfortunately, um, it ended up, he ended up passing away. That was Minnesota's first documented case of sudden cardiac death linked to the bite of a Lyme-infected tick. The middle-aged man from the Twin Cities had developed a rare condition known as Lyme carditis. It's caused by the same bacteria which triggers Lyme disease. 65% of patients with Lyme carditis are men and typically younger, um, and 15 to 40, and nobody understands why, uh, but that's what we see. In these cases, the bacteria, which are shaped like tiny corkscrews, burrow their way into heart muscle. Your body creates an inflammatory reaction against these to fight them off, and the heart muscle or the conduction system gets caught in the crossfire. As a result, the electrical signals which keep your heart beating short circuit. In extremely rare cases, a person's heart can slow to a stop or develop a dangerously fast rhythm that can also be fatal. The heart will stop pumping blood and you pass out and it does a sudden death. According to the Centers for Disease Control, it happened to a Massachusetts resident while driving. The 2012 death was linked to Lyme carditis. The patient lived alone with a dog that was reported to have ticks frequently. There were two more cases in 2013, including a New York State resident who collapsed at home. The patient had no known tick contact, but was reported to be a hiker. CDC reports about 1% of the people who get Lyme disease will develop Lyme carditis. There are about 15 cases a year in Minnesota. The good news is it is treatable with antibiotics, although sometimes it may require a temporary pacemaker too. Once you give the antibiotics, the, the bacteria die, the inflammation goes away and it does not come back. So there's no permanent effects from this in the heart. How's your heart today? Perfect, as far as I know. <laughs> Steve Stoll's never suspected he'd been exposed to the Lyme bacteria. No tick found, no symptoms whatsoever. Not everyone gets severe body aches or a bullseye-shaped rash that are telltale signs of the disease. The faster you get the tick off, the better it is for disease prevention. Because right now is prime time for ticks. Health officials stress the need to protect yourself by wearing tick repellent when around brushy areas. You have about 24 hours from when a tick attaches itself before it can infect you. So a hot, soapy shower after a hike in the woods can help wash away any ticks you can't see. I'm Jeff Ballion, Fox 9.